So we have the uh, drama, the Giro, Garen Thomas Lander crashing out, hitting a motorbike. Actually, one of the Sunweb riders hit the motorbike was at Kelderman. Broke his finger. <sighs> all that training, all that work, and someone just stalls the motorbike or parks the motorbike in the wrong spot. Bam! That's cycling, mate, the world's hardest professional sport. So fucking cutthroat. Mobistar were on the, on the attack. They didn't stop. They kept the pace going. They already had that pace higher beforehand. I feel, in my opinion, that they should have waited up. She said, hey guys, we've lost a lot of GC contenders. It's not really a fair fight now. Let's wait up. Let's regroup. Let's control the peloton. Didn't happen though. Didn't happen though. So, Landers out. Garen Thomas out. There's no way they're going to call back that time. Unless Quintana crashes. I mean, you know, in the past, Rover Star's been taken advantage of, and now I guess this is their, this is their time to uh, up the ante. But uh, I agree with Matt White on saying that they should have waited. And I, I really think if, if a GC contenders are out, they have a crash, there should be some sort of neutralization, man, versus keep pushing 400 watts. It's, I understand, man, it's fucking cutthroat as fuck, man. But all that does is breed this hell environment of doping, man, because it's like. Think about it, you put all that work into it, you fucking have a crash, you're out for four to six weeks, broken finger, just because of a motorbike, and you're thinking, fucking hell, man, why the fuck am I doing this naturally? You know what I mean? It just comes down to every second, every millimeter, every fucking watt per kilo. This is cutthroat as fuck, and it's, it's the world we live in, though, man. It's getting more and more and more cutthroat. You know, fuck, man, being a pro rider today must be so much harder than it was back in the 90s or the early 2000s. There was a lot more control back then, it was, you know. Now it's just like, this, the competition's more level, we've got more power meters, they understand the tactics better. It's just, you know, everyone's got the same sort of programs and stuff, it's just the same resources. Such a cutthroat level playing field. What do you think down below? Let us know. I, I reckon that Movistar should neutralize the race, let everyone regroup, start again. You know, that's racing. But again, that's racing as well. If you crash, you're fairly mechanical, people are going to keep going. It's divided this one, but I'm with the more old school theory that it should be neutralized, wait for the GC contenders, and let's get the fucking race on again. Push on at 400 watts when the big hitters have crashed. You know, it's not unfair. It's not like they all said, oh shit, they crashed, let's go. That's, that would be different, but they didn't. They, they were already pushing the watts. The crash happened, they thought, fuck it, let's keep pushing the watts. Maybe they didn't know about it straight away. It's hard to make the call on the road at the time, but uh, cutthroat as fuck.